Good afternoon. I want to welcome each and every one here today to celebrate the graduation of Marcus High School 2011 seniors. I'm extremely humbled to be a part of a, such a fine group of students that have achieved the goals set by the state of Texas and Louisville Independent School District. As we celebrate your achievements, one must always remember the lives of so many that have touched you as you have gone through the educational process. Whether it is your parents, teachers, classmates, or community members, this time is crucial to reflect on how and where you will continue in life. Every contact that you make in life establishes your character and beliefs. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Let's make this a moment to remember. Let me say it's been my privilege to have been the principal of Marcus for this 2010-2011 school year. Please remain standing for your invocation, led by student body president Alice Riding, daughter of Melissa and Gary Riding. Please continue standing for the presentation of colors and national anthem led by the Texas 881st Air Force JROTC group directed by Colonel Martin Sells and Sergeant Fred Norwood. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Class of 2011 Commencement Exercises. I feel so privileged to have the opportunity to address such a terrific group of students. What a fun senior year we've had. Finally having our own Rotter Stadium, getting time off for snow and ice days, cheering on our state champion teams, going to Six Flags, finally getting to come in late during tax week, attending our senior prom, and so many other memorable moments that have, contribute, that have contributed to the past 36 weeks at school. Regardless of what our plans are for next year, we will all be moving on to a new chapter in our lives. Some will be continuing their education, joining the armed forces, or entering the workforce. Our school mission statement is, Marcus High School is committed to providing an environment that inspires all students to become confident, self-directed, lifelong learners. I would hope that we would all remember to be continually learning. In the words of the great Albert Einstein, when you stop learning, you start dying. At this time, I will offer a prayer. Feel free to use this moment for reflection if you do not wish to participate. Our Father in heaven, we are so grateful to be at this point in our lives. We are thankful for the teachers and administrators, families and friends, and all those who have helped us get to this point. We would ask for guidance as we move on to this next era in our lives, and as we all take great leaps to new places with new people and new experiences. Life has brought each one of us here, and we thank you for directing our steps and overlapping our lives for this brief time. We appreciate the experiences and opportunities that we've had these past four years that have shaped and molded us to who we are today. Please use the wisdom we have gained as a blessing for others. Thank you, Lord, for this school and the faculty and staff who have given us the tools to succeed through their teaching and mentoring, and for working behind the scenes to meet our needs and keep us on track. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. Hold. Left turn. Hard. Color guard. Hold. Present. Colors.
Thank you, Junior ROTC and Allison. Please at this time be seated. Very nice job by our choir and Mr. Jason Dove, the director. At, at, at this, there you go, they deserve it. At this time, let's welcome to the podium senior Natapron Tun, daughter of Aston and Cindy Tun. Good afternoon, everyone. As excited as I am to have this opportunity to speak today, I was also incredibly nervous. And the task of achieving something profound in less than five minutes proved to be a slightly daunting task. So, in my infinite wisdom, I decided to ask the advice of my little brother, who absolutely remarked, don't make it lame. He adores me, you can tell. But his terse remark did get me thinking. As we take our steps, into the outside world, there is so much wisdom imparted on us. That this is not the end, but simply the beginning. That the memories and moments we've lived will be with us forever. And while all this is true, I think the most important thing that we so often forget is the simplest, to live. In a society inundated by boxes waiting to be checked, expectations and charted progress, it's painfully, be, it's painfully easy to get lost in the numbers. To be so focused on the big plan, the big picture, that we lose sight of the details that get us there. As excited as I know everyone in these chairs are, evidenced by the sassy remarks at graduation practice that we've been practicing graduating for the past month, I encourage you to remember and learn from your mistakes. Don't be the same eager kindergartner who scoffed at kiddish naps, the same naps we give our right arms to have today. Don't be the excited fifth grader longing to go to middle school that you forget to cherish recess. Don't be the kid dying to go to high school and forget to enjoy a time when studying and work were maybe foreign concepts. And most importantly, don't define yourself by your goals but who you become achieving them. Learn from the lessons that make up all of who we are, whether that be that waiting will always be inevitably closed the day you're running late, or that you should never, ever ask for a calculus take-home test because it might be the most painful experience in all imagination. Rejoice in your characters and your accomplishments, and simultaneously, if you ever lose yourself in pursuit of something else, change it. And I hope all of us, no matter what the bright future holds, remember to cherish those around us that play a part in who we are. The people who nag us when we're holding back, the people who tear down our walls and smack us awake. To my mom, who holds as much of me as I do of myself, thank you. In the words of Mickey Mouse, it's not the candy, the presents, or the lights all glow. It's the lives that we touch and the people that we know. And of course, whatever you do, don't make it lame. Congratulations, class of 2011. Thanks, Natapron. Now, please welcome senior class president, Alexa Everly Page, daughter of Linda and Tim Page. Welcome to the graduation of the Marcus class of 2011. This is the day we have been working towards for the past 12 years. And while our high school graduation ceremony is a memory that will stick with us forever, 
It's more about the unique journey each of us experienced to earn our degree and walk across this stage. Today, we are excited for our future, but also a little nervous and uncertain as to what it may bring. While I cannot remember exactly what I wore on the first day of school or the score of every sporting event, I can vividly recall the opening of the new Marcus Stadium, cheering and winning at the Battle of the Axe, homecoming, and the flooding of our brand new gym. We have celebrated and cried together, and each event has shaped us into the people we have become today. It is during our years at Marcus High School that we decided what we want to strive for and who we want to become. In our senior year alone, our class has accomplished so much. Our academics, fine arts, and athletics have excelled beyond our expectations. I want all of us to remember that we are in charge of our future. As we walk across this stage, do not only think of it as an end to a chapter in our lives, but rather an exciting new beginning. Do not waste your time trying to live your life like someone else. Create your own story. Look for new opportunities and try new things. I trust each of us will accomplish something special in the years to come. This is our time to start fresh. Make new goals and strive to achieve them. The class of 2011 is truly talented, and I'm so blessed to stand among such an amazing group of seniors. Congratulations, class of 2011. We did it. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. Prior to the introduction to the honored guest on stage, I'd also like to welcome parents, grandparents, family members, and friends of these great seniors. A special welcome to our honored guests that are on stage is Mrs. Carol Kyer, Board of Trustees President, Mrs. Vernell Gregg, Board Vice President, Mrs. Amber Fulton, Board Secretary, Mr. Tom Ferguson, board member. Ms. Julie Fowdy, board member. Mr. Jeff Knapp, board member. And Mrs. Brenda Latham, board member. Louisville ISD's new superintendent, Dr. Stephen Waddell. Mr. Dennis Wimborne, Deputy Superintendent. Dr. Harry Crenshaw II, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. He's back here. Dr. Kevin Rogers, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education. He is also back here. Dr. Penny Riddell, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction and Assessment. Mr. Greg Ville, Assistant Superintendent of Technology. Ms. Leanne Lewis, Associate Principal. And Ms. Cheryl Ritchie, Lead Counselor. Thanks to all of you for your work for the students of Louisville Independent School District. Now I want to recognize Michelle Wise, Salutatorian, Class of 2011, daughter of Robert and Julie Wise. Hi. As a few of you may know, I'm a little on the quiet side. Mrs. Lull, my English teacher this year, also picked up on this quality of mine and got into the habit of beginning each day of class by asking, Michelle, do you have anything to say today? Quite often, I didn't. But today happens to be an exception. So with all due respect, yes, Mrs. Lull, I do have something to say. To start, I would like to take a moment to thank the people who have helped us reach this stage in our lives. On behalf of the senior class, thank you to our parents. Without you, we would not be here, literally. But truly, we appreciate the love and support you have so generously given us as we have grown up, and it is with your guidance that we have begun to develop the foundations of our personal characters. As we depart for college and enter the working world, we can go with confidence, knowing that you taught us well, at least while we were actually listening. And you always will be there to support us when we need you most. To our teachers, thank you for the countless hours you have spent creating all of the tests, quizzes, and essays we so thoroughly enjoyed. 
Although we, were, although we were always eager to stay focused and listen, you remained patient and ensured that we paid attention most of the time. Whether it was Mrs. Brennanstool telling us to gut up or Mr. Kahn testing our reflexes with projectile motion, we knew you would keep us on track and very well prepared. Even beyond instructing us in academic subjects, you have imparted to us real world wisdom that will serve us well as we continue to build upon our experiences in the future. Now, as our four years of high school draw to a close, we may look back and find that this point in our lives is a time only of conclusion. Best friends will part for different colleges, the sense of safety and security we have grown accustomed to at home will soon disappear, and we will never again get to plow through the traffic jam in the W Hall. But what is important now is to look at this time not as an ending, but as a beginning. As we leave for college, we will be exposed to various new experiences. Beyond the knowledge we gain in our classes, this time will provide us with eye-opening opportunities to interact with and learn from new people. As Albert Einstein once said, education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Now, hopefully we don't forget everything we've learned, but recognize the significance of the wisdom we will gain through personal interactions and practical lessons. In a more diverse environment, we will naturally expand the development of our characters and thereby begin to determine the direction in which we choose to live our lives. We will form new friendships while continuing to strengthen the old ones we hold so dear. And above all, we will have greater opportunities to change for the better not only ourselves, but also the world in which we live. In order to affect our world and bring about this change, there are several personal characteristics we must possess and continuously work towards improving. The first of these characteristics, integrity. We must increase our focus on developing our understanding of moral and ethical behavior as we enter a new era of unprecedented challenges. We have the responsibility of recognizing the consequences of our actions and reacting appropriately to the issues that arise. Essentially, our efforts to maintain genuine accountability will affect our relationships on all levels, whether at work, with our families, or within ourselves. Being honest with ourselves will prove especially pivotal, as sincere introspection will provide a link to our deepest thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Without self-honesty, we are at a loss in developing true, candid relationships, not only with our own consciences, but also with the people around us. So never forget the importance of being earnest. Next, we must exhibit tenacity. Although unexpected obstacles are certain to hinder our advancement, we must remain persistent in striving to achieve our goals. Ambition is key when setting out to reach an objective, and ultimately the more daunting of challenges, those which require unswerving perseverance and dedication will provide the greatest rewards upon completion. An awareness of innovation is yet another quality vital to our success in the future. As Albert Einstein once said on a different occasion, seeing as he had more than one thing to say, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we use to create them. Clearly, the difficulties we face as a progressing society can be solved largely by applying open-minded ingenuity. With this in mind, it is our duty to persist in being well-educated as we progress, all the while remaining mindful of the lessons we have learned throughout history and conscious of the future we are bound to influence. Just think about it. We don't want the next generation to ridicule us because we don't understand things like Facebook and MyFace. We must always be aware of the society in which we live and stay active in expressing our interests and opinions as responsible citizens, no matter where new technologies and movements of thought may lead us. Finally, we must exer exercise humility. As we reach new levels of achievement, never forget where we started or those who helped us along the way. Maintain a respectful attitude when interacting with people of all walks of life, and never forget the significance of a small act of kindness or a simple smile. Moving forward, we must continuously develop and apply these attributes to our lives and remain conscious of our responsibilities to society. Although our four years of high school have been great, full of valuable experiences and accomplishments, the future promises even greater potential. There are infinite possibilities and opportunities awaiting us, but it is up to us to take advantage of all we have been given. Lastly, I have a few words that don't really fit anywhere else. Thank you to Coach Lyles for making the volleyball team run around and do push-ups at midnight, but also for developing a team of which I am proud to have been a member. Mr. Kahn, I still remember the definition of an isotope. Mrs. Hutley, thank you for always believing in Lab Station Zero, no matter how large our percent error. Thank you, Mr. Osborne, for enduring an entire semester of the three blind mice. 
And finally, thank you to my friends for making my life far more interesting than I ever could have made it myself. As seniors of the class of 2011, we have all earned the right to advance to the next stage in our lives. The countless challenges, surprises, and joys we will face as we move on will test our willingness to adapt to change, and the boundless potential of tomorrow will always serve to encourage us with hope. No matter what path we choose, we know there will be an outlet for success, and we will always remember the people and experiences that help us along the way. Thank you. Great job, Michelle. And for all you parents, we don't really run children at midnight. Um, and who is this Einstein guy? Which classroom does he actually teach in? Because he's being quoted quite a bit tonight. Now we'll have the playing of the class of 2011 song, Forever Young, by Youth Group. At this time, I'd like to recognize our valedictorian of 2011, Timothy Herbert Kroger, son of Maureen and Jerome Kroger, and ask that Timothy come forward. To paraphrase 19th century minister George Dana Boardman, not every man is the architect of his own fortune, but every man is the architect of his own character. At Marcus High School, we have been prepared to be both. The faculty work hard to stimulate integrity, and the excellent academic environment at Marcus grants each of us the opportunity to master his or her fortune. Looking back at our four years together, it's easy to see the maturation and growth that have led to this momentous occasion, the release of nearly 800 success stories to the world. Today, we are hard workers, friends, musicians, artists, athletes, and students who will rise to the top of the next generation of professionals. When I think about our freshman year, I'm stunned by our capacity for growth. Our experiences, friends, and teachers forge mature, responsible adults from unreliable, inconsistent young freshmen. This phenomenon is probably best viewed from the perspective of any of us who has been involved in an extracurricular activity throughout all four years at Marcus, be it band or choir or soccer or football. The difference in rapport with both peers and instructors is staggering. Think about the responsibilities you were entrusted with four years ago compared to the relationships of trust and camaraderie you have earned today. For anybody taught by the same teacher for more than one year, think about the much more personal, equal interactions with that teacher the second time around. In Ms. Hutley's AP class, for example, accountability was greater while formality decreased and uh, 
I'm sorry, compared to her pre-AP course. <laughs> we had difficult tests one day and Hutley Bebop the next. Through these memories, we can perceive our flowering maturity. Many of us have progressed from failing to turn in assignments to passing rigorous AP tests with flying colors. Many have also demonstrated leadership in clubs and organizations, from athletics to the arts to service-based honor societies. At the same time, all of us have grown socially, from the pettiness of middle schoolers to the tight-knit bonds of friendship, radiating in spheres down to our very closest friends. The relationships fostered in high school enhance our attitudes, balance our cynicism and naivete, and test our responsibility and judgment as we make independent choices in selecting our associates. Therefore, the past four years of our lives have not only enriched us with the knowledge of the expert faculty at Marcus, but they have also ingrained in us a deeper sense of self, an increased awareness of others, and a greater notion of character and responsibility. We have been a class of high achievers, an exceptional number of national merit finalists, leaders in band, choir, act deck, ultimate frisbee, journalism, and basketball, whose efforts earned Marcus recognition at the state level, and individuals who succeeded in our academic, artistic, and athletic endeavors. But we did not succeed on our own. The teachers and administrators at Marcus are incredible educators, and our gratitude should extend to every one of them who has touched our lives. I would like to thank the counselors, particularly my counselors, Mrs. Ritchie and Mrs. Braswell, for their amazing assistance and support. Mr. Schaeferman for his dedication to the success of every student and his pride in all the organizations at Marcus, and every teacher and coach for his or her contributions to all of our futures. A few teachers go above and beyond the expectations of any student to provide the most incredible learning experiences. These teachers do whatever it takes to facilitate the most engaged learning and the most enjoyable classes. Thank you, Dr. Goodrich, Mrs. Hutley, Mr. Doyle, Mrs. Forthen, Mr. Stobrel, and Mrs. Lowell, for making school exciting, for teaching character as well as courses, for spending countless extra hours grading papers, conducting rehearsals or review sessions, and perfecting teaching styles that shape lives. Marcus is a very special place, and we can all be thankful for the outstanding assistance we've received throughout our time here. In so many schools across the country, the opportunities we may take for granted at Marcus simply do not exist. Many schools have overwrought, underwhelming teachers, limited or no access to educational technology, limited athletics and fine arts, and therefore students who cannot be passionate about their futures. All of us may consider ourselves fortunate in this regard. From our extensive computer resources, to our ample faculty, to the vast opportunities for sports and the arts provided by Marcus and LISD. In addition to the gratitude we owe our school, let us all thank our parents and families for their support. I'd like to thank my mother for her Herculean efforts to raise a family with a full-time job. We could not have achieved anything worthwhile without the people who taught us integrity and values and who stood behind us every step of the way while we rose to this occasion. Now that we're here, let's think about what the future holds. Each of us has the capacity to achieve great things in our lifetimes. We have demonstrated that through our work ethic, our teamwork, our volunteerism, and our accomplishments thus far. If we continue to work hard, to be team players, and to strive towards our own improvement and the betterment of humanity, we will discover our passions and lead fulfilling, successful lives. So I caution us not to lose sight of our strengths and not to forget our weaknesses. And this is where I return to my opening remark, that all of us here have been given the precious opportunity to be masters of fortune and character. With strong character and equipped with the tools provided us by our educators, we can achieve anything by utilizing our talents, checking our errors, and feeling an ethical responsibility in whatever we do. If we consider a major crisis of our time here at Marcus, the economic catastrophe that began in 2008, we can see how a little more character from some of the world's smartest experts could have eased the severity of the recession. When the country's leading banks received bailouts, they converted billions of dollars to bonuses for the same executives whose risky operations necessitated the emergency funds. With this failure of character in mind, let us pursue all our goals and our careers from a position of integrity, because ability alone is not enough for a positive impact on the world. Let us challenge ourselves to do the right thing, even when we have the power to do the selfish thing. Furthermore, let us remember that our abilities are not yet fully developed. We are not yet prepared to follow our dreams. 
Our hard work is not over, and the next phase of our lives will be yet a new phase of growth and education. But rather than lose heart from the work ahead of us, let's think about what we'll earn through continued endeavors. We are a class of bright, empowered individuals and colleagues. We have been given the tools and knowledge to set about finding our passions and realizing our dreams. By continuing from this point, we enable ourselves to be anything we want to be and to do anything we want to do. Today's resources and technologies allow us to pursue almost any goal, and we are the caliber of students who can take full advantage of this wealth of opportunities. We will be business leaders, physicians, researchers, and captains of industry. But we will also be spouses, parents, and friends. Therefore, the work ahead of us is not a cause for despair, but a beacon of hope. Ours is a class of high achievers, and with the final push, we can discover our passions. After that, work is play. That is why we continue to strive, because we seek to discover our callings. With that, graduates of Marcus, class of 2011, I ask that we go forth not with an air of completion, but with an attitude of humility that comes from the knowledge that we aren't yet finished, an attitude demonstrative of the mantra that character determines fortune. Thank you, class of 2011. Thanks, Tim. Dr. Waddell, I am pleased to present to you the senior class of 2011 for Edward S. Marcus High School. There are, there are before us 721 exceptional seniors. I have verified that each of these seniors have met the requirements of the Texas Education Agency and the Lewis Hill Independent School District and should be awarded the appropriate diploma or certificate at this time. Thank you, Mr. Schaeferman. To you, the Edward S. Marcus High School class of 2011, I extend my warmest congratulations and wishes for a happy and successful future. Ms. Kyer has verified these students eligible to receive their diploma or certificate. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the Louisville Independent School District uh, and the Board of Trustees, I certify them. Their diplomas, or certificates are to be granted at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor at this time to present to you the Marcus High School graduating class, the seniors of 2011. First, the top 20 academic graduates. The valedictorian of this year's class, Timothy Herbert Kroger. The salutatorian, Michelle Ashley Wise. Number three, David Huang Wang. Number four, Emily Kirsten Stoa. Number five, Nataprun Tun. Number six, Zoe Fong Lam. Number seven, Michael Allen Momberg. Number eight, Justin Patrick Flaherty. Number nine, Tarsis Grilly Gabriel. Number 10, Theodore Matthew Blakely. Number 11, Molly Francis Durrell. Number 12, Andrea Maria Torres Valencia. Number 13, Nicholas Land Sparks. Number 14, Achilles A.J. Padhey. 
Number 15, Ryan Glenn Fitz. Number 16, Britt Alden Owsley. Number 17, Jacob Madison Mitchell. Number 18, Aaron Valerie Evans. Number 19, Jennifer Ann Mosley. Number 20, Zachary Scott Newhart. Let's give the top 20 academic graduates a round of applause. Continuing alphabetically, Sabrina Bente Abdul Ghani. Hallie Elizabeth Adams. Kyle Lee Adams. Sebastian Sanchez Aguilar. Corbin Lee Albert. Riley Kate Albright. Rachel Alexis Alexander. Austin Jeffrey Allen. Kirk Aaron Allen. Natalie Ann Allen. Morgan Elizabeth Anderson. Haley Lane Anderson. Jordan Lynn Anderson. Kyle James Anderson. Matthew Edward Anderson. Mindy Lauren Anderson. Megan Elizabeth Anthony. Douglas Elijah Archibald. Shelby Nicole Armstrong. James Allen Arneson. Joshua Edward Arnold. Grant Kenneth Errington. Krista Ann Ashbaugh. Mason Allen Atkins. Lucas Charles Attrell. Marcus Jacob Ours. Tanner Joseph Bacino. Duncan James Bacchus. Megan Renee Badgett. Joseph Michael Bagazinski. Hannah Elizabeth Barr. Cody Alexander Barrows. Danielle Ellen Bartels. Blake Evans Beatty. Bo Jordan Bauman. Zachary John Bauman. Tony Lee Swan Baumgard. Brittany Marie Baxter. Adina Beal. Leonard Christopher Beal II. Dalton Chase Beal. Jennifer Elise Beardsley. Jordan Matthew Beckley. Jason James Bell. 
Lauren Elizabeth Bell. Taylor Elizabeth Beninati. Jonathan Taylor Bennett. Lauren Ann Barron. Kelly Maria Berry. Austin Blake Bianco. Haley Christine Birdsall. Kelsey Patricia Bitter. Gary Ray Black III. Ian Thomas Blair. Danielle Marie Blocker. Nicole Lynn Bloom. Michael Dylan Boschenstein. Aaron Renee Bohan. Trevin Scott Bolding. Joseph Andrew Bolt. Christine Marie Balitho. Jamie Delight Borkers. Daniel Scott Boudreau. Lauren Nicole Boulay. Travis Blake Bowen. Rachel Lynn Boyd. Clayton Barry Breckenridge II. Connor Patrick Brim. Elise Shannon Brennan. Hunter Gideon Bricky. Christopher Coleman Brihalba. Matthew John Brinzo. Nicolette Cache Brooks. Lillian Ann Brott. Joseph Ryan Brown. Peyton Nicole Brown. Alexander Nolan Bryant. Robin Kiana Bryant. Taylor Adonis Buckley. Bailey Ann Bunting. Ian Thomas Burchard. Kelly Ann Burdick. Brandon Mitchell Burks. Danielle Elizabeth Burnham. Chase Eric Burris. Patrick Kyle Bouchal. Robert Anthony Bush. James Robert Byam III. Katie Danielle Byrode. Jacob Parker Cagle. Alexandra Sine Kane. Andrea Lee Calhoun. Sean Patrick Canavan. Lauren Ashley Carter. Andrew Kenneth Carr. Gregory Lee Carroll. Taylor Lanise Carver. 
Michael Thomas Castaldo the fourth. Molly McKenzie Cathcart. Matthew Thomas Cavazos. Lexia Cherie Chadwick. Alexa Nicole Charpentier. Alexandria Kate Chesney. Bailey Nicole Childress. Michael Patrick Christoph. Erica Lynn Cicero. Chelsea Alexandra Clark. Jacob Anthony Clemens. Ian Reed Cloud. Eric Stephen Clough. Tyler James Cobb. Kathleen Faith Cumming. Taylor Jeffrey Kondrak. John Austin Conkin. Colton Reed Martin Connor. Raina Elizabeth Connor. Daniel Hudson Corder. Benjamin Taylor Corzette. Rebecca Lee Cowart. Eleni Lee Cowsert. Alexandria Victoria Cox. Cameron Chase Cox. Miguel Angel Koshka. Ashlyn Marie Kramer. Annie Terry Creighton. Hannah Grace Crosby. Matthew Robert Cross. Charles Sebastian Crump. Joseph Eugene Cummings. Matthew Ryan Cummings. Zachary Tyler Davies. John Blaine Davis. Tamithia Michelle Davis. Tyler Aaron Davis. Alan James Dean. Melissa Ann Derringer. Colleen Elizabeth Delaney. Santiago Delgadillo. Lisa Marie DeLuca. Brianna Lynn Derrick. Ian Robert Dietz. Michaela Lauren Defonzo. Taylor Nicole Dingman. Taylor Aaron Dobson. Christian Gabriel Dodson. Hillary Nicole Donald, Brandon Trey Donner, Joshua Caleb Dover, Brett Lloyd Doyle, Robert Austin Drackett, Samantha Brooke Draper, Ian Joseph Drew. 
Delaney Lynn Dudenhofer. Michael Allen Dumleo. David Daniel Durand. Samantha Leanne Duros. Daniel Brent Durrett. Leah Marie Dvorak. Christopher Patrick Dwyer. Jordan Paul Eckler. Justin Carl Eckler. Bobby Joe Megan Eckert. Joshua David Eccles. Allison Kate Edwards. Casey Lynn Edwards. Connor Lee Edwards. Michael Andrew Ehrlich. Kelsey Caroline Eller. Zachary Stephen Engel. Rachel Marie Enlow. Josephine Lenore Enos. Morgan Paige Epperson. Morgan Byzance Epps. Jason Atkins Etter. Danielle Navarth Evans. Jared Andrew Everett. Tyler Jefferson Evers. Sean Michael Tyler Faber. Brendan Roy Fagan. Jordan Kimberly Ferris. Catherine Alexandra Ferguson. Anthony Shun Fernilius. Riley Marie Fetzko. Nathan Lawrence Field. Christine Michelle Philbin. Haley Lauren Finch. Vance Allen Findley. Stephen Edward Finneran. Taylor Elliot Finley. Nathan Samuel Boneri Fiorenza. Anthony Jordan Fisher. Aaron Quinn Fitzgerald. Jonathan Josue Flores. Matthew Richard Fontaine. Allison Elaine Foreman. Megan Ann Fox. Kayla Michelle Franklin. Nicole Alexandria Frazier. Dane McLaren Frazier. Garrett Daniel French. Tyler Ryan Freevert. Paige Emily Friedel. William Mitchell Fritt. Alan Dale Fudge. 
Catherine Elizabeth Gaines. Alexis Nicole Gamash. Mackenzie Ann Garber. Jacob John Tyler Garcia. Matilde Dominguez Garcia. Mariah Ray Garner. Julie Ann Garrison. Daniel Ray Garza. Jeffrey Daniel Gershenfeld. Billy Channing Gibbs. Alex Nicholas Gilbert. Michael Anthony Gill Jr. Sydney Marie Gilliam. Jeffrey Aaron Gindrecht. Antoinetta Priscilla Joya. Helen Cecilia Giraso. Javier Giribet Vargas. Tyler Norman Goddard. Lucas Dean Golding. Kevin O. Gonzalez. Rachel U. Pay Gooding. Christopher James Gouldsby. Gabriela Christine Goss. Ruby Govea Avila. Ryan Douglas Gracie. Alexandra Marie Granata. Seth Austin Grant. Krista Michelle Green. Michael Hunt. Green, Caleb Andrew Gregory, Austin Kirk Grell, Melissa Aaron Griffith, Zane Davis Griffith, Mary Audrey Gullo. Paulina Mary Gerzak. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Haas. <laughs> Alicia Carol Olivia Halbach. <laughs> Stephen Bryce Hale. <laughs> Randall Stewart Hall. Sierra Nicole Hamilton. Hunter Hamilton Hanson. Danielle Ann Harkness. Emily Kara Harless. Caitlin Nicole Perry. Lindsay Marie Hathaway. Kristen Lee Haynes. Dylan James Heath. Scott Thomas Hines. Kelsey Lee Hinneman.
Jeracia Nicole Henson. Alyssa Noel Hernandez. Missy Shay Higginbotham. Casey Ann Hildreth. Justin Mitchell Hill. Cassie Alexis Hill. Nicholas Alexander Hill. Allison Marie Hill Gartner. Sovine Ho. Bridget Nicole Hobson. Dylan James Hockett. Bailey Edgerton Hodge. Abby Lynn Hodebeck. Kendall Ann Hogan. Kimberly Marie Holcomb. Katie Lynn Hollowell. Shelby Nicole Holly. Terry Patricia Holston. Hollis Britton Horn Jr. Ryan Anders Hornung. Alexandra Marie Horton. Garrett James Hoskins. So Yin Huang. Alexis Danielle Hubley. Hunter James Hudson. Matthew Thomas Hudspeth. Andrea Janae Hummer. Kaylee Nicole Hughes. Sarah Elizabeth Hula. Autumn Lee Hunt. Bryce Winfield Hunter. Clayton Wells Hurlbut. Myrna Lilia Hurtado. Rachel Lee Hutto. <laughs> Olivia Laurel Imberry. Brianna Lynn Isaacson. Nathan Dorian Jackson. Shailen Adara Jackson Gidry. Sarah Beth Victoria Jacobs. Claire Victoria Jacana. Madison Lynn James. Megan Elizabeth James. Yun Suk Jang. Jose Jesus Jimenez. <laughs> Young Ho Christopher Joe. <laughs> Heather Tomas Johnson. <laughs> Madison Elizabeth Johnson. <laughs> Travis Miller Johnson. Tyler Scott Johnson. Darren Andrew Jones. Kevin Michael Jones. 
Natasha Nicole Jordan. Lawrence Randall Jordan the fourth. John Patrick Cavanaugh the fourth. Abigail Mara Didik Kowalik. Keith Sean Kellermeyer. <laughs> Kathleen Francis Kelly. <laughs> Shannon Marie Kenny. <laughs> Ashley Dawn Kerr. <laughs> Pierce Connor Kiefer. Alicia Hison Kim. Alejandro Dale Kimball. Michael Eugene Kissinger. Brandon Kell Kleibrink. Morgan James Knowles. Henry Thomas Knudsen. Mary Arlene Kohler. Taylor Diane Kopp. Haley Elizabeth Corin. Nicholas Cote Cote. Caitlin Michelle Kovieski. Brittany Marie Kozura. Megan Ashley Kramer. John Christian Krolik. Darren Walter Kruzich. Christopher Montgomery Locke. Emily Nicole Lacey. Sean Michael Lambert. Laura Catherine Lancaster. Chelsea Denise Land. Corey Donovan Lanford. Jaron James Lang. Cortland Elizabeth Langley. Wyatt Beauvais Langston. Jason Thomas Laubacher. Desiree Justine Law. Tyler Lee Lawson. Libby Gabrielle Lazo. Clarissa Nicole Lee. Jun Yuck Lee. Jin Lee. Chase Moreland Laner. Grace Marie Lemley. Justin Tyler Lapori. Brittany Lee Letbetter. Haley Danielle Danell Lewis. Hillary Ann Lewis. Caitlin Marie Lewis. Drake Michael Lichty. 
Shannon Marie Lindley. Alec Edward Little. Brendan Patrick Lockett. Leon Lombard. Patricia Lomalin. Lorianne Delano Lutz. Jessica Danielle Lovell. Johanna Elise Lovefald. Elizabeth Ann Lowry. Nicholas Killian Lump. Zachary Daniel Luther. Cooper Boyd Lutz. Craig Thatcher Lutz. Kayla Ann Mayberry. Alex Taylor McDonald. Alexander Kent Mackey. William Anderson Ross Macklin. Srikaran Mahavadi. Michaela Estefania Maldonado Marcetti. Richa Deepak Manglerker. Allison Nicole Maness. Jerome Ed Edward Mansfield II. Chelsea K. Marquis. Catherine Riley Martin. Rebecca Martinez. Special recognition for a certificate for perfect attendance all four years at Marcus High School. Vincent Michael Martinez. Shelby Alyssa Mason. Rufus Mason III. Melissa Tressa Matthew. Matthew Thomas Mazur. Charles Ryan McAfee. Jessalyn Page McAllister. Michelle Kim McAllister. Katie May McCarty. Kelsey Ann McCauley. Shannon Mary McCauley. Kelly Elise McDaniel. Dylan James McDonald. Maggie J. McDonald. Zane Ryan McDonald. Ashley Megan McLaughlin. Colton Chase McMahon. Kyle Dean McWilliams. James Robert Mee. John Clifford Medellin. Carly Elizabeth Miners. Melina Mendez Esposito. Christopher Michael Merlin. Jacqueline Elaine Mestis. Michael Joseph Metzinger II. 
Kyle David Michaels. Bria Cherell Mick. Taylor Richard Miles. Devin Rebecca Miller. Joshua Stephen Miller. Preston Bruce Miller. Savannah Roy Miller. Scott Ethan Milligan. Tori Diane Minnick. Andrew Craig Mitchell. Taylor Allison Mitchell. Jasmine L. Moncada. Omar Azael Montemayor Rodriguez. Addison Reed Moody. Jeffrey Lewis Moore. Sonny Slade Moore. Zachary Thomas Moore. Tyler Andrew Morales. Andrew Christian Morera. Christina Elizabeth Morris. Kendra Lee Moss. Forrest Gregory Moulin. Dylan Robert Mauer. Nicholas Howard Mullins. Kayla Lee Muncy. Catherine Ann Murphy. David Na. Shay Elizabeth Nicole Nailing. Derek Kaysen Nance. Lauren Elise Naples. John David Naps. Jason Andrew Neal. Katie Marie Neisler. Sarah Amber Nelson. Aaron Marie Nievenhoven. Dagan Daniel Newsom. Daniel Harold Wynn. Colin Albert Nicholas. Brennan Cole Nizial. Kayla Marie Noble. Stephen Richard Nolte. Paige Ime Nespong. Andrew Kent Nunn. Sean Patrick O'Dell. Julia Nicole O'Hearn. Shelby Christine Oliphant. Lorena Costa Jefreitas. Oliveira. Jonathan Matthew Olmstead. Autumn Marie Olson. Stephen Lee Ortiz. Matthew Donald Oswald. 
Alexa Everly Page. Nicholas Mark Parisi. Chan Young Park. Connor Heath Parker. Courtney Brianne Parker. Arenda Denise Parks. Lindsay Nicole Pavlika. Ashley Nicole Pax. Caitlin Francis Pearson. Benford Lee Peavy Jr. Joshua Dale Peck. Michaela Emily Pecoraro. Kevin Douglas Pellino. Tirza Genevieve Pena. Christina Marie Petroskis. Javier Ignacio Pfeiffer. Manuel Filipos. Quintaria Josquez Fitz. Skyler David Pierce. Tanner Bryce Pipkin. Anusha Ponaru. Dylan James Powell. Justin Aaron Powell. Dylan Scott Powers. Laura Brianne Prentice. Connor Paul Pruitt. Brittany Marie Priovalos. Allison Leanne Shibish. Danielle Nicole Pugh. Connor Aaron Purcell. Zelise Marie Keyless. Alexis Christine Kiros. Carly Erica Reagans. Connor James Ramsey. Harshbir Singh Randawa. Sierra Kathleen Ray. Ashley Denise Reeves. Catherine Elizabeth Reed. Kelsey Marie Reinhelder. Matthew Benton Rice. Cameron Nicholas Richards. Nicole Marie Sheridan Richards. Casey Ann Richardson. Clayton Tyler Ritchie. Allison Riding. Amanda Rose Riggs. Sarah Marie Rini. Brooks Cortland Robinson. Rachel Marie Rocamontes. Yeah. 
Joseph Raymond Rogers. Erica Tate Rohr. Alexandria Ann Romano. Lauren Elizabeth Rose. Skyler Logan Rougeau. Natalie Paige Runnels. Allison Jean Rupp. Kendall Justine Russo. Italia Itzamar Saavedra Herrera. Ryan Thomas Salata. Mason Allen Salazar. Haley Marie Sample. Alaska Sarah Elizabeth Samuels. Adi Sanchez Arroyo. Mallory Channing Sando. Spencer Boyd Sandridge. Santiago Fernando Santos Schrader. Ruth Ann Savannah. Stephanie Nicole Sayers. Taylor Elizabeth Sayers. Douglas Robert Schneider. Dylan Lee Schoenberg. Colby Taylor Schwartz. Sonia Nicole Schwerin. Ian Patrick Scott. Ryan Austin Sewell. Leslie Ann Schalander. Vanessa Lee Sarkis Shepherd. Dylan Monroe Sherrod. Eric J.R. Shin. Brandon David Shockley. John Nicholas Shovel. Kale Lance Schreiber. Connor William Shirky. Samantha Hillary Selensky. Matthew Colton Sims. Aaron Jacob Simon. Catherine Elizabeth Simpson. Jake Michaels Singer. Victoria Christine Skelton. Hannah Elaine Slater. Matthew Kyle Slavik. Ethan Bradley Slaughter. William Russell Sloan. Nicholas Scott Smith. Zachary David Smith. Joshua Ryan Snadow. Ashley Elizabeth Sommerhauser. J. Min Song. Alexander Robertson Spaulding. 
Philip Raymond Spencer. Stone Harris McWright Spiegel. Emily Ann Spraker. Ryan Michael Staffelano. Brittany Michelle Stanford. William Hunter Starnes Jr. Sarah Marie Starr. Casey Matthew Stauffer. Olivia Ann Steinhoffel. Tori Nicole Stevens. Stuart Blake Stevenson. Lindsay Beth Stewart. Taylor Sky Stokes. Sean Duncan Stovall. Victoria Ashley Strasser. Paulina Kristen Stromquist. Caleb Kendall Dalton Strother. Anna Gabriel Stuckey. Samantha Lynn Swanson. Luke Andrew Swinney. Connor Liam Taggart. Dale Anthony Tickets. Justin Scott Talbot. Alejandra Elena Tapia. Hayden Scott Taylor. David Anthony Terrasas. Trenton Lee Terry. Amanda Gail Thainer. Ryan Jamal Thomas. Shelby Nicole Thomas. Taylor Anthony Thomas. Kayla Francis Thornhill. Nathaniel Joseph Thornton. Joseph Reed Thurman. Haley Lynn Tierney. Richard Dalton Tyndall. Umiyaman Mertuza Tinwala. Catherine Jacqueline Joan Tobias. Annie Lauren Tolliver. Christina Louise Tomich. Amber Rose Tompkin. Lee Tao Tan. Bailey Marie Trejo. Garrett Samuel Troy. Chelsea Marie Turner. Tausif M.R. Udin. Catherine Nicole Ulis. Alexandra K. Underwood. Nathan Alexander Underwood. Annette. Diane Urias. 
Marcus Andrew Uribe. Sarah Elizabeth Usler. Lance Aaron Badla. Victoria Alicia Valdez. Alexandria Paige Vandersteif. Annalise Michelle Van Hoy. Cole Lyndon Vandell. Allison Catherine Van Lunen. Madeline Ann Van Zant. Austin Lane Verplank. Zachary Lapaca Villalba. Philip Vivar. Alexander Jacob Vogel. Daniel Ryan Volker. Samantha Nicole Vongpachan. Alexandre Elizabeth Votrain. Yen Vong. Rachel Nicole Wagoner. Alyssa Lee Waldrup. Brandon Mark Waldrum. Austin Dean Walker. Roxanne Jean Walker. Trey James Walker. Devin Faye Wallace. Travis William Walls. Rachel Marie Walsh. Alexandra Jane Walterscheid. Denton James Ward. Emily Alexandra Warner. Haley Bell Warren. Rachel McKay Warren. Jade Ray Watermiller. Tanner David Watkins. Lindsay Elizabeth Watson. Shyla Chanel Watson. Patrick Thomas Watts. Corin Anthony Wax. Stuart James Weaver. James Michael Wheel. Brooke Nicole Weiske. Walter Clinton Weldon III. Reagan Elizabeth Wentz. Emily Lucille Westbrook. Zachary Ryan Weisenhunt. Lauren Nicole Whitby. David Carter White. Jordan McKenzie White. Scarlett Amber White. Kyle Edward Brennan White. Matthew James Whitman. Derek Lamar Wilbanks. Dylan Jeffrey Wilkerson. Alexander Heath 
Williams. Devin Rose Williams. Jenna Marie Williams. Zachary Hayden Williams. Russell Maurice Williamson, Jr. Chelsea Ann Wilson. Sarah Elizabeth Wilson. Haley Catherine Winter. Grace Lee Wolfendale. Andrew James Wooten. Andrea Lee Wright. Connor James Wright. Jennifer Rose Wright. Stephanie Grace Wright. Michael Scott Wise. G. Hey Yi. Brian Amir Zandi. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Zeculin. <laughs> Daniel Austin Zinda. Please at this time, welcome to the podium, Senior Molly Francis Durrell, daughter of Brenda and Daniel Durrell. This too shall pass. When looking for ideas, and even more frantically, what one should say for closing remarks, I found this quote. It's something that could apply in any situation or time, whether it is happy or sad, the beginning or the end of an endeavor. As graduation applies to all four, I believed it to be particularly applicable. More importantly, this quote at its heart reveals the mutable nature of life. Change is the sole item in this world that will always remain, no matter where we go or what we do. Today we are taking the first steps towards one of the biggest changes we will ever have to accustom ourselves to implementing in our lives. As of today, we are no longer high school students required to attend school, and whether you intend to go straight into the workforce, the armed forces, some sort of college or university, or simply desire to bum off your parents for another year or two at home until you figure out what you want to do, the fact that we are finally finished is cause for celebration. Can I hear some applause? <laughs> And as we celebrate our graduation, amidst all the changes, we must not forget the constants in our lives, the reason that all of us are here today, the love of our parents, the love of our grandparents, the love of our brothers and sisters, our aunts and uncles, our cousins and friends. In a world that is constantly changing and making us change as well, love helps us to remain dedicated and to remember the reason for the trials that will assuredly come as we age. As Gandhi once stated, you must be the change you want to see in the world. And in our generation, we cannot wait for the change to happen naturally. We must always press forward while, we're, while looking to our past to make sure we are not changing simply for change's sake. Graduates, I wish you all the best. And to conclude, I would like to quote part of a poem we all had to read in the heinous and dreaded AP English Lit class. It is the same, for be it joy or sorrow, the path of its depart departure still is free. Man's yesterday may ne'er be like his morrow, not may endure but mutability. Congratulations, class of 2011. We made it. Thanks, Molly. Now our benediction will be given by senior class vice president, Michael Scott Wise, son of Deb and Chuck Wise. All right, firstly, I would like to thank the amazing staff at Marcus High School. 
Without their passion for teaching and developing us as people, we would not be where we are today. Also, I'd like to thank our families that are in the crowd today and the ones that couldn't make it. Without all your great parenting and support through the years, we definitely would not be here today. Every class leaves a legacy behind. When I was tasked with speaking at this year's graduation, I tried to determine what this class's legacy would be. Looking back as a group, we've accomplished so much. Our band is dominant. We have a national champion in Craig Lutz. The basketball team had an incredible season culminating in a state championship. Our theater department, newspaper, yearbook, MOB, choir, football team, volleyball team, student council, and the list goes on and on. Even the uh, Marcus's ultimate Frisbee team took first place in Austin. What a great year we've had, seniors. It seems everywhere in our class, our family, their success. So I would say our legacy is simply greatness. But as a group, we cannot rest on our laurels, for we must never forget how we obtained the success. We got it through hard work here at Marcus. The band practices tirelessly in the summer sweltering heat to prepare for their contests. Football has its two days, and the list goes on and on with how many practices, study sessions, and rehearsals we've all been through. So although we have a legacy to be proud of behind us, let us never relax our work ethic that got us to this point. On the contrary, I challenge each of you to continue this legacy we have begun and accomplish even more. Let us constantly push the envelope and dare to dream. At the class reunions, we better see some astronauts, movie stars, Olympians, and perhaps even an astrophysicist or two. I'm looking at you, Tim. <laughs> Marcus has prepared us well for the future, but it's up to each of us to define it. I love you guys, and stay classy, Marcus High School. Now welcome senior Katie Danielle Byrode, secretary of the senior class, daughter of Brenda and Clark Byrode, and business manager Sarah Amber Nelson, daughter of Sandy and Gary Stevenson, and Patrick Nelson as she introduces members of the Marcus Varsity Choir to lead us in the alma mater directed by Jason Dubb. Today, I stand here recalling wonderful memories, good times, and hard work through our four years at Marcus High School. I hope we all cherish our experiences and use our knowledge as we go into the future with bright hopes and high expectations to, conti to continue our journey with fond memories of our Marcus alma mater. As we, the class of 2011, sing the Marcus High School alma mater together for the last time, we pledge to continue our loyalty and promise to always strive toward our higher goals in the future. At this time, please stand with me and join Michael Allen Malberg and Kayla Marie Noble in singing the Marcus High School alma mater. All right, while you're finding your mortarboard, we want to wish the class of 2011 all the best that life has to offer. Friends and guests, please remain seated during the recessional. Have a safe trip home. Now the band will begin the recessional. 